Well, no, then your hadith say that Adam was created in the shape of Allah with his height of 60 cubits. So we do know because Adam was Allah's clone. You're saying that that the hadith state yep. that Adam is a clone of God. You better what believe it. Show it to you right could now. you could you present yeah. that oh, uh, evidence with pleasure hold on so yes we do know allah and adam are identical because adam was created after the surah of allah with his height of 60 cubits so that means adam was 90 feet tall according to your sound narrations which means that if he's created after the shape and the form of allah that means allah is 90 feet tall hamam related from abu Hurairah. Wait, 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 you know what hamam means hamam what does it mean? It means toilet, but go ahead. Okay. That the Prophet said, Allah created Adam on his form and his height was 60 cubits. So we'll read the next one. That was Bukhari. Abu Huraira reported Allah's messenger saying, Allah, the exalted and glorious, created Adam in his own image with his length of 60 cubits. Now, lest he said, no, it doesn't mean Allah created Adam in Allah's height. Scroll down, see what the Salafi scholars say. Narid al Sunnah. That Ibn Umar said, the messenger of Allah said, do not say, may Allah deform your face. For the son of Adam was created in the image of the most merciful. Shaykh Abd Allah Ibn Yamin said, yeah. This hadith is sahih. Sahih. So Adam was created in the image of the merciful. And was classed as such by the Imams and by Imam Ahmed and Ishaq ibn, Ishaq ibn Rasha Wai. All right, they're good. Those who classed him as Daif have no evidence except for the view of the. Of, ibn Fusayma, yeah. Uh, but those who classed it as Sahih are more knowledgeable than him. That's so funny. we can't say it's Daif, it's Sahih, but they're going to get worse. Keep reading. Next one. All right. Ibn Abi Asim also narrated that Abu Huraira said, the messenger of Allah said, when any of you fights, let him avoid the face. For Allah created Adam in his in the image of his face. Sheikh Al-Albani said it's Isnad as Sahih. Now read what it says right after that. These two hadith indicate that the pronoun in the phrase, in his image, refers to Allah, may he be glorified. From these ahadith, we learn that it is proven that Allah has an image, surah in Arabic, in a manner that befits him. May he be glorified and exalted. His image is one of his attributes, which cannot be likened to the attributes of created beings, just as his essence cannot be likened to their essence and he ibn taymiyyah i notice said, who it is uh j ibn taymiyyah there was no dispute among the salaf of the first three generations that the pronoun in the hadith refers to allah and it is narrated through many isnads from many of the sahaba the context of the hadith all indicate that. But when Al Jahamiya, Jahamiya became widespread in the third century age, a group, go ahead. A group began to say that the pronoun refers to something other than Allah. And this was transmitted from a group of scholars who are known to have knowledge and to follow the Sunnah in most of their affairs, such as Abu Thawr, Ibn Khuzayma, Abu al Sheikh. Asfahani and others. Hence, they were denounced by the Imams of Islam. Other Sunni Sarah. Now, look how they conclude. What do they conclude? The Prophet's words, Adam was created in his image, means that Allah created Adam in his image. For he has a face, an eye, a hand, and a foot. And Adam had a face, mm -hmm. an eye, a hand, and a foot. But that does not mean that these things are exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to get there. There is. I think we, we, we got we got it, right? Because it confirms the view of Ahl al-Sunnah wa Jama'ah. Now wait, click wait, on... Wait, before, you, before you continue, just to be clear for my sake. So both of these paragraphs were both from Ibn Taymiyyah? Right yeah, because here? it says C-Shar. <laughs> now, can I make one point too before you go on? Yes. To the earlier point that I was talking about with the early Muslims and their wars and their battles, mm -hmm. modern Muslims are still writing and critiquing and calling this position idolatry and anthropomorphic heresy. So... Yeah, it is. I agree. No. No, wait a minute. I so you're, now you're saying they're all, well, hold on, so Jake and Daniel and all those people are idolaters? No, I, I think that just because there's a, a comment that says that, you know, God has a hand or a foot or an eye, you can't anthropomorphize these things. What, what do these uh, hadiths do? Just because something may have been, you know, a hand and a hand or a foot and a foot does not mean that these things share likeness in any form. That's clearly said. So, so the actual measurements, like it actually gave you a measurement. Do you think God has a measurement? Did you read yeah. the hadith? It said that you Allah you believe God has a measurement? Okay. No, your hadith says that, not me. Yes. Did you hear the hadith? Hold on. It said Allah created Adam. No, it doesn't say Allah's God has yes, a does. measurement. Yeah, yes, yeah. it does. Not say that. Yes, it, it says does. that Adam had measurements. No, it doesn't. Oh, it said so Allah. It literally Allah. says 
Go up. His Go image up. was created 60 cubits. No, it says after his height. Yes. It's in Allah's own, height. It's length no, of 60 it's cubits. Adam's. Right yes, it is. It's Allah's it's height. Based on, it's, it's Adam's height based on Allah's. That's the that's what it's Adam's height. No, not Allah created Adam height. in his form and his height. We just read that it's the form of Allah. What are you not seeing? You can do this very simply what by adding that? a simple comma, right? You like think about this. God created Adam, and his height was 60 cubits. That's not we what speak English. What we is the English, right? right? There. We what all speak English, English here. Who are you? Wait, I, what that's exactly what it says. Adam no, it Hawaii, let's stop talking over each other. Let's take it step by step because you're tap dancing. When it says Allah created really? Adam on his form, whose form? Adam's form. You lie. Go read the hadiths again. Just, Allah created Adam on Adam's form. That makes no sense. Read the source again because see, yeah. I knew he's going to do this. It says the form of Ar Rahman here. For the Son of Man was created in the image of the most merciful. What did you forget when Which, we just spent five you minutes asked reading? Me, you asked me about form, not image. This says it's the, the same word in Arabic. Right the there. This says the image of the most merciful. It's a translation of the <laughs> Arabic you, form. <laughs> you form and image are it's not the same word. Word. Image and form are the English translations of the same word. Surah. It's the same. Okay, word. where's the Arabic? Okay, open up the Arabic for can, a letter. Can, can any Arabic? of us read Arabic? Can any of us read Arabic? Can you read it? I'm telling you what they just said. It's the word surah being translated image and form. Let's stop the tap dance. I can, I can sort of read Arabic slowly. Open but it up and read it for me. I mean, can any of you read Arabic? What up? Sorry, I didn't mean to talk over you, Jay, because I knew he was going to do that. That's why I went I, It always this. just comes down to this. It's like, oh, but you can't read Arabic. Oh, I thought no, this was the religion for the whole Arabic. world. But... No, I'm not. I'm not an Arabic scholar myself. I'm not a linguistic. Uh, I'm not any of those things myself. Like I said, I can slowly read Arabic. I mean, it would take a while. I would have to translate it very slowly. The point was, your sources just said, the word form and image in English is the Arabic word surah. It's right there. And the pronouns refer back to Allah. Allah made mm -hmm. Adam in his form, image, and his height. Mm -hmm. So Allah's height, he has a height. And Adam was created. In the likeness of that height. So let's get to the point. Yes, Adam is created from dust. That's the only difference. Allah is not from dust. That's where the difference is. But their height and form is identical. One is from dust, mud. The other isn't. So we just gave you the evidence. Answer now, Jay. How is it your God is 90 feet and he has body parts that are identical to Adam with only one difference? Adam is made from mud. Allah is not. That's the only difference. Now answer this question. You're making... You're making um, assertions to the hadith, like you're saying your that own these people, are identical. Your own people kill each other over this. You you understand that? You're making assertions. I'm making assertions when your own schools fight each other over this very point. You you know the hadith about um, Allah creating Adam in His image. Remember? Yeah, yeah. Can you pull that up for us and read it in the Arabic for us? What what is the Arabic word? Yeah, for? I do not need to pull it up. I know it by memory. Allah Adam ala suratihi. Allah He created Adam. In his image, his own image. Yeah. The Muslim, they try to fix it. They say, oh, he meant that he created uh, Adam in the image of Adam, which is the most stupid in uh, interpretation. I mean, you want to tell me that Allah, like Allah created CP in the image of CP. <laughs> and then he continues saying that he created him 60 uh, arm tall. And that make it more stupid too, because, uh, uh, you know, why Adam is 60 arm tall but we are not even six foot tall. That is the most stupid uh, story Muhammad he came with.